what's going on? Nobody keeps up with Tiggers. Hmm, maybe there's something wrong with my tail. Hello, Internet, and welcome back to Missile Dine Online and our continuation of the Kingdom Hearts HD 1.5 Remix uh, walkthrough. So, we finished Neverland entirely, and we also, right after that, we decided, you know what? We're going to go to Olympus Coliseum and get the Yellow Trinity Mark by defeating Hercules in his very own Hercules Cup. We were able to do that, and now we're going to Traverse Town because we need to talk to Sid to get a Navi G piece to be able to go to uh, the world that Riku went to with Kairi. However, we're going somewhere else first. We're going to the Magician's Study. So we're here at Merlin's Study, and you might be wondering, Cory, Cory, listen, why are we here? This is stupid. Well, it's kind of important, okay? First of all, we have this yellow trinity mark that we can use back here, which, I mean, duh, we're gonna do that. And this is actually going to create a little bit of a staircase, uh, a gravity almost defying one, for a chest right here. Which, if we open it, will have an AP up, which is a beautiful thing to have. Then, if we glide over here, we can open this chest and... Dalmatians 1, 2, and 3 returned home. Now what we want to do is, we don't actually want to go back to the study yet. We want to go this way, and now that we have the beautiful glide ability, we can just glide over here. And we want to go to the third district, and then to the second district. You can skip all of these guys if you choose, which I do. And we're just going to go this way, and into second district. We're actually going to the Dalmatian's house. We've collected a lot of Dalmatians so far, and we haven't actually been back to see if we get no, any rewards or anything for doing so. So, let's check it out. So right here is the Dalmatian's house. Aww! Pongo and Perdita, and puppies. Let's see what we get. Looks like there's a lot. Thank you, guys. Look how chubby the puppy is. So just open this box and we'll get a Kuragaji, a Fireagaji, a Thunderagi, a Mithril Shard, a torn page, a mithril, and that's it. Which means we found over 51 puppies. That's kind of cool. So that was our fifth and final torn page in the game, because if we look at our inventory, we'll see that we have stock here. One, two, three, four, five. Five torn pages. Those torn pages belong in Merlin's book. So we want to go back to the third district and go to that book that we made him all the way back right after I think we sealed Deep Jungle uh, when we, right before we sealed Traverse Town we worked on that book and did all of that stuff well lucky us, what we did ages ago still matters so we want to go to Merlin's thing and we want to go over to that book and here at the book, examine it and it will open up and We are taken inside the book. What is this place? So if we come over here, we can read this right here. It's an empty meadow. Take a look. Sure. We are part of the book. And look who it is. You know him. You love him. It's Pooh Bear. Think, 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 think. Hi there. What's wrong? Nothing. I just 
thinking of. Oh. I was thinking of how to say goodbye to Pooh. Pooh? Yes. Wait a second. You're Pooh? Yes, I'm Winnie the Pooh. Pooh for short. Who are you? I'm Sora. Oh, hello, Sora. Have you come to say goodbye to Pooh, too? Well, no. Why would I do that? We've only just met. Because everyone's gone away. What do you mean? Well, we all lived here in the Hundred Acre Wood. And we'd take walks together. Or play poo sticks. And every day, I'd eat some honey. Oh, just one small smackerel would taste very good right now. But now, everyone is gone. All my friends... And my favorite honey tree, too. You're spelling Everyone honey wrong. must have gone away while I was napping, I think. So, who knows? Maybe I shall end up going away somewhere as well. You won't. But I wonder, how do I say goodbye to myself? You don't. Think, think, think. Oh, my tumbly is getting rather rumbly. Okay. Hundred Acre Wood. Now, there are no Heartless in this area whatsoever. This is a very peaceful minigame based world. And we're going to complete it in this part. Come over here and grab this chest for a Mithril Shard. Now, what I will say is. This place is loaded with items. You get so many really good items from doing this, as well as a upgrade to one of our spells. So you'll see that a save point has appeared, and you can also look to see over here that this part of the map is now revealed. So we can come over here, an odd sign hangs above this. Yes, we want to take a look. Of course we do. And we'll arrive right over here, and you can look around and all of that. There's a little fire here. We can light that if we want. And right over here, we'll find this chimney. We can hit that. And, as you heard, something happened. And from here, we want to go into Pooh's house and talk to Pooh. Oh, bother. There's no more honey left. If only the honey tree would visit. Oh, then I could eat my fish. Trees don't move, poo. God, it's like your brain's full of poo. <laughs> Anyways, so we'll grab this item right here, and it's a mega ether. And then if we come over here, we can open this cupboard. That was the mega ether was from the chimney. And we'll get an elixir. Yay, us. And then we can just leave Pooh's house. And Owl will come and talk to us. Let me guess, you'd like to know what happens next. Unfortunately, some of the pages are missing, so I can't tell you yet. The pages are scattered over many worlds. Would you find them for us? I already did. What up, bro? So from here, we want to leave. Well, we don't want to leave. We want to find the next thing, which is right here, and it's the honey tree. A tall, curious tree buzzing with bees. Take a look. Absolutely. Is anyone there? Oh, what am I to do? I'm all alone. Hi, Piglet. Pooh. Pooh. Where are you? It's me, Piglet. Oh, he's scared. So this is actually pretty easy. So you want to get to Piglet without him uh, being afraid of you. So you just go over here, and he's still looking over to where we were, and talk to him. Ah! Oh dear, I 
If you try to go up to him the other way, he runs into the bush. Don't be scared. You're looking for Pooh, right? You know Pooh. I do know Pooh. You see, I, I have something for him. I, I have to take it to Pooh right away. <laughs> oh, Pooh! Oh, I believe I smell a delicious something. A something like honey. Pooh! Hello, Piglet. How have you been? I'm so glad to see you. I thought you'd gone away. I brought what you asked for. <laughs> Thank you, Piglet. Now I can finally have some honey. Really? B -b 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 but how? I shall hold on to the balloon and fly like a bee up the honey tree, see? What if you take their honey? Won't the bees be angry? Hmm. Oh. All right, so this is when we're going to start the first mini game. So if we talk to Pooh, if only he could chase away the, would you help me get some honey? Sure, Pooh, I'll help. The basic, basic thing that you're going to do here, as Owl will explain. Oh, hello there, Owl. Good day, Pooh, what are you doing? Using a balloon, allow me to offer a few pointers. So, basically, Pooh is going to float up, and you have to jump from branch to branch, and while he's collecting honey, you need to block, you need to basically hit the, uh, the bees that get there. So he's going to go to each one. There's quite a bit of honey in each thing. If Pooh gets too close, the bees will come out to protect their honey. If they get to Poo, they'll pop his balloon. Lock onto the bees and swat them away. The more time Poo has at each hollow, the more honey he can eat. There's more honey higher up, too. If jumping from branch to branch proves difficult, try the rush command. However, if you use rush, you lose five points. Now, there is certain amounts of points that you need to get, or a certain number of things that you have to do for every single mini game that will actually uh, allow you to... Um... So that's a bad start. That's a really bad start. Wow. Okay, so he'll start... Uh, that didn't start over. Okay. So, usually, you can go up to this branch and wait for the bees to come. So, all you have to do is jump up this is actually one of the hardest mini games uh, for me personally. I don't know why. I think it's because I'm not good with precision jumping. All right, and I think you need to get a hundred. We're doing pretty well. That's all you have to do. And if you just hit it once and don't actually do anything else, uh, sometimes you'll just jump and it'll automatically put you on a branch. Which is super, super easy. Probably a little overpowered. I think he needs 150, actually, uh, is the number that we need to get. It's actually for Sora's cheer ability. And we're doing pretty well. We're already, we're at 157, one, yeah, we're doing really well. Look at that, 192. Is rather funny what I will do for honey. <laughs> oh, poo. And the torn page turned into a new item, and you get Nature Spark, which is actually another summon item, which is very, very cool. From here, we can head to uh, up here, which is, I believe, Rabbit's house. A broad expanse of vegetable fields. Yes, take a look.
So here at the thing, which by the way, we needed a hundred points, a hundred licks for uh, for that last minigame. So we never have to do that minigame ever again. So we can examine this and see there's a letter inside. I hope we'll find, I hope we'll be finding more honey together soon. So that's cool, a letter from Pooh. And you can come over here and see Pooh's trying to talk to Wabbit's house. House, house. Look, Rabbit's house kick came back, but it looks like Rabbit isn't home. Oh, no! So you can talk to him, but not a huge deal. Talk to Pooh, and Pooh will try to find out if he's home. But the house is saying that nobody's home. Interesting. And now from here, you want to go and go into Rabbit's house. Because he's a liar. Nobody? Have you seen Rabbit? Oh! Oh no. Poor Rabbit. Hello, Rabbit. Why, Poo Poo, what a pre pleasant surprise. Nice to see you too, Piglet. And I'm Sora! Ooh, I'm sorry, but I'm all out of honey at the moment. You liar! I can see it! Huh, honey? Now how did that get up there? I wonder, rabbit. Oh, thank you, rabbit. I would just like a small smackerel. Um, Pooh Bear? You're not eating the whole pot, are you? Of course he is, he's Pooh Bear. Once you start, there's no stopping you, is there? And you can talk to Rabbit again. He says, out of honey. And then when you're done, you can come and talk to Pooh. I'm so glad to have found both Rabbit and some honey. And you can talk to Piglet. And then you can go to try to leave. Now, I think there's actually some items you can get for doing this. There we go. So you can get items from pulling out the vegetables. Nothing rare or anything like that, but you can still get stuff. Yes, you do leave his house. I'm wrong. So you leave and go up here. And you actually go to, like, actually leave. Leave. I think. So if you go out here... Help! Please help, Poo! Pooh's butt! He got stuck. I came in through this hole, so it must have shrunk. Or you ate all too much. And you can talk to Rabbit. And his house is plugged up. And you can talk to Piglet. Oh, what to do? What to do? And you can come out here. And you can come over here. And talk to him. Oh, how will I eat honey if I'm stuck here? And then Rabbit's gonna be like, you're not eating anything ever again, because you need to slim down. If Pooh doesn't slim down, my house will stay plugged up forever. If only there were something we could do. I know, a bit of carrot juice will do the trick. I have a carrot patch on the other side of the stream. Carrot top juice is just the ticket to sl Carrot top juice? That sounds gross. Oh no! What's oh no? Look who it is. It's my man, Tigger. I thought Tigger bounced on his tail. Why did I think that? T-I-Double-G-U-R. That spells T-I-Double-G-U-R. Well, now, I don't think I've ever seen you before. Hello, Tigger. You've just bounced my new friend, Sora. Hey, Pooh. Say, you're looking mighty uncomfy today. Is that some new exercise? My bouncing around is a lot more fun. <sighs> Why do you bounce around so much, Tigger? Why? Because bouncing's what Tigger's do best. Speaking of which, my bouncing spot has gone and disappeared. 
So for now, this will be my new bouncing ground. <laughs> Tigger's bouncing will ruin my vegetables, and if we don't give Pooh some carrot top juice, he'll be stuck forever. Please help me. Keep Tigger away from my carrots. This is quite a fix, but I have just a solution. Pay attention now. Oh, it's Owl! Sora, you'll have to protect this carrot patch. If Tigger bounces on a carrot twice, it'll be buried. One. And two. Just like that. Protect the carrots from Tigger's bounces and you'll receive points. How, you ask? It's elementary. Oh, how many licks does it take to get to the center of a t There are 15 carrots here. Your score depends on how many you save and how many times you block Tigger. Oh, and one more thing. You need to get 150, by the way. Points. The rush command is the key to a hide score. You'll see it pop up. Select rush while near a carry carrot that isn't buried yet. You'll dash to the target area before Tigger lands. Well, good luck. Alright, so this is fairly easy. He says, now. So Tigger's going to bounce. You need to beat Tigger to the carrots before he runs, rushes to the ground. Alright, so we only blocked him 11 times. Times blocked 11. Carrot saved 13. Final score 143. So we'll have to do that one again because we were just shy of uh, of 150. Thank you so much. Now I'd better make that carrot juice. I'll get the carrot, so please wait inside the house. So you talk to him, he's not going to actually do anything. I think we have to go inside. Oh, what a day. I gave Pooh the carrot top juice. All we have to do now is push him out. Just a little push should do. Okay. Just a little put. Okay. Oh. Poor rabbit stuff. First my vegetable patch and now this. Father. Oh, where am I? It's ever so dark in here. Well, it isn't so bad, I suppose. <laughs> there is plenty of honey. <laughs> the new, the torn page turned into a new item. You'll get a mithril shard. Now, before we do anything else, we're actually going to go right back here. And let's get 150 before we move on. We're just going to get 150 points right now. And then that'll be the end of this episode. So come over here. Talk to Tigger. Hey, you look like you're in a bouncing mood. I sure am, Tigger. Alright, so let's do this right this time and get 150 points. And so 13. 13 times. 14 carats saved. 182 final score. We needed 150. We win. Oh, what's going on? Nobody keeps up with Tigger. I do. Hmm. Maybe there's something wrong with my Yeah, maybe there is, Tigger. Maybe there is.